Good morning and thank you Amy for allowing me to contribute to this panel with this recorded presentation. My presentation today is entitled Stories of those who changed their lives from being a risk to society to beget, become an added value. Well, this is what I want to say about people that recovery and so get back to society as contributing member of it. This is a very famous photo taken in the 70s in Italy at the time of an opioid epidemic. More than 1,000 people died every year. And this is a priest which is blessing a guy died for overdoses. <coughs> it is famous because at that time, and the crisis, the opioid epidemic was huge. That's why Vincenzo Muccioli, the founder of San Patrignano, decided to do something, to act, not to remain passive in front of these sufferings. He opened the door of his house, in, in the country, on the hill uh, behind Rimini, and welcomed people uh, to his place. Of course, at that time, San Patrignano was not like that. It is now, but it was like this, with some mobile houses that someone donated us, and hippie-style life. We tried to understand which were the best tool to offer to those who asked for help. They wanted to get rid of their addiction and uh, Vincenzo was able to offer them a family-like environment because he was not an expert on the problem of addiction. At that time, the only two possible solutions were jail for those who committed crimes or psychiatric clinic for those who were um, not, not um, controlled, under control because of their use of drugs. At San Patrignano, recovery was and is now made of care because we want to give care and attention to the people that ask for help. It must be free of charge because these feelings can be given only free of charge. And we recognize that it has to be long-term, drug-free, because, because this was what they asked to become free from any addiction, and residential. It should provide life and job skill. It should be tailor-made and address the special need of special group of people, such as minors, women, pregnant women, sick people, people coming from jail with crime record. And the final aim should be, of course, to be reintegrated into society at the end of the process. Work at San Patrignano is a tool, is something that helps people to regain interpersonal and life skill, is something that gives professional qualification to get back to society and increase slowly self-esteem and give back people their dignity as human beings. This is the percentage of people that at the moment of the admission at San Patrignano are unemployed. You can see 85%. I make this study a couple of years ago, but the situation is similar also every year. Only 70.6% are regularly employed, some are students, and some have an unregulated job. So it is important to offer people the opportunity to regain or to gain some job skills, some life skills, because drugs actually damage the reward system and make people unable to experiment gratification through the normal activity of the day. So the recovery has to be based on interpersonal skill and rebuilding life skill so that people can regain their self-esteem. Quality vocational training opportunities to increase self-esteem and favor social reintegration are to be offered but also for the free time, meaningful activity has to be offered and experimented 
by people in order to allow them to learn how to spend in a meaningful way their spare time. This is the, the scheme on how it works. In the first part of the process of recovery, people receive vocational guidance in order to get to know themselves and what they want to do with their future. So in the second part of the recovery process, they can access to study center or to vocational training or both if, if necessary. Then there is some possibility for some of them to, re to have some trainship and also paid trainship if there are agreements and collaboration with companies and other organization foundation that help us to provide, the, to provide to them some paid trainship for the first period of their working career. This is the study center with some students. They were more than 1,800 since 1989. <coughs> and we provide vocational trainings. In 2019, there were more than six, there were 16 different courses and 355 people that attended these courses. Uh, also, we offered to 72 people paid trainship and 260 months of uh, paid trainings. This is the Earth Elite course that we made in collaboration with L'Oreal. And these are some of the courses that through the year has been organized. This guy is making his paid trainship in our restaurant, Vitern, in order to be able to have a, an additional curriculum to present when he asks for a job. This is the final output of all this work. 85% are have an employment before leaving the community. Only 50% do not have an employment, but they can and probably will get it in the future. You can see the different area and they are connected to the area in which they received training within the community. But what all this work can produce as impact to society? We try to measure the social return of investment calculating the donation received in 2017. In that year, we received 5,350,000 euros of donation. Then we calculated three different proxy. The value produced by vocational training, which is more than 3 million. The value produced, the saving created to the healthcare system by the reduction of drug use disorder cost, which is nearly 23 million, and the reduction of crime cost, which is uh, 2,600,000 or so. Summing all this value generated, we reach a number of 29 million. So we compare this number with the, out, the input that we receive with the donation and we have as a result that we for one euro we received we produce a value of 5.21 euros so this is the sort of return of investment that each one that invests donating to the community can receive this this research was made by the university in lisbon and Rome. So thank you for your attention. I think that recovery can produce an important value to society because these people, after a period in despair, can go back to society with dignity and being contributing member of it. Thank you.